There we are guys, a little bit of sweet, a little bit of sour, a little bit of heat, a full taste of Thailand and dinner on the table in less than 10 minutes. Hi guys, how you all doing? Welcome to Backyard Chef, I'm Rick. Now, what do you think about a Thai dinner on the table, no cooking in less than 10 minutes? Yes we can and we'll do it right now. Right guys, let's have a quick run through the ingredients just to show you it's so simple okay what we've got we've got two cans of tuna okay two cans of tuna in there now this was tuna in brine but you can use any tuna okay we got lime juice we got sugar chili flakes some shallots some toasted rice powder some sawtooth coriander, some spring onions, a bunch of mint, and we got soy sauce and fish sauce. That's how easy this is, guys, okay? So let's crack on and knock up this in less than 10 minutes on the table for a fantastic full Thai flavored dinner. Okay, it'll be sweet, sour, salty, it'll have a little bit of heat and it's got all the flavours that we could possibly want and obviously we're using tin tuna, it's healthy, let's do this. Okay guys, here we go, one and a half tablespoons of fish sauce. I'm going to put about half a tablespoon of seasoning soy sauce. We want one and a half tablespoons of lime juice. So get that in there. About a tablespoon of sugar. There we go. One and a half tablespoons one and a half tablespoons of our rice flour a teaspoon of chili flakes so let's just give that a mix in there now this wants to have a bit a little bit a little bit of heat guys it wants to be sour with a little bit of an underlying sweetness okay let's give this a taste test Perfect, absolutely perfect. Mind you, I've done this a thousand times. Okay, so what we want to do now, we want to thinly slice our shallots. So let's crack on and thinly slice our shallots. There we are guys, thinly sliced shallots. So all we need to do is add that to our bowl. Done, finished, in. Okay, and then what we're going to do, we're going to take our sawtooth coriander. So we have to slice this really fine guys, okay? Now obviously sawtooth coriander is not available all the way around the world i do know that so if you can't get it don't worry that'll do that's a rough finley let's get that in there straight in the bowl then we want to take about three spring onions we don't want that end look it over see if any leaves have to come off okay now with this guys the white end we can cut into about half centimeter pieces so get that into about half centimeter pieces add that to our bowl and then the leaf end we just want to thinly slice 
Now it doesn't really matter. You know, you can slice it as big or as small as you want. You know, there's no set rule for this. Okay, so add that to our bowl. We need to take some mint leaves. Okay, so just get some mint leaves. And what we're going to do, we're going to run a knife over these. Not too small, we want chunks of mint leaves actually in this. Because it's actually about the mint leaves. You know, lab carries quite a lot of mint. Or a good lab does. Nice amount of mint and just whack 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 over the top. Now we don't want this too fine, we actually want some leaf in there. So straight over, nice and steady, very easy, chop 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 chop. And that's it guys. In the bowl with our mint leaves, done. All we need to do now, give it a quick mix. It's as simple as that, mix it all up. Now you can make this as wet if, as you want, okay? You can have quite a lot of juice in here if you so desire, but really the sauce should stick to everything and not be swamped with water okay it should not be loads of fluid in here now fluid is going to start anyway because of the saltiness in here and the veg you know it will start to leak moisture so that is our veg prepped all we need to do now is straight in with our tuna now what we don't want to do, if we can help it, and, but it's entirely up to you. We really don't want to mash this tuna up, you know. Just nice and turn it over so it's coated. And that's it. You've got nice chunks of tuna in there. Fantastic. Now up to you which is optional. But I want a little bit of red splash of colour in there, so I'm going to put a little bit of a red chilli in. Okay, so we want to slice this really finely. And what I'm going to do is come down it and then slice across. And we end up with just those little flecks of red in there. I'm not bothered about big chunks of red chili in there guys, that doesn't matter. You know, we just want a little bit of red fleck in there, just to boost through that colour and make it look really attractive. And as you can see already, just look at that. Absolutely first class. That's it guys, not even 10 minutes, I'll just clear this away and we'll serve it up. So all we need to do now guys, is just put it on our plate. Now you could just leave it in the bowl if you so wanted. There we are guys, a little bit of sweet, a little bit of sour, a little bit of heat, a full taste of Thailand and dinner on the table in less than 10 minutes. Absolutely fantastic. Now if you like what we're doing, don't forget to share with your friends, like and subscribe and we'll catch you next time. Mm.